This is the room that Mrs. Borden's body was discovered, and she was found right here between the bed and the dresser. I can all move. Now, the only reason she came up here was to tidy up the room. This is where John Morris, the you know, his uncle, that's a much younger mutual. He was Mr. Borden's age at the time. <laughs> Now, Lizzie and Emma control the front three rooms of the house. I'll show you why I went to Lizzie's room. Lizzie and Emma used this room up here to entertain their friends. Bridget had no duties on the second floor, so she had no reason to come up here. So the only reason Mrs. Borden was in here was to make up the bed. To tidy up after John. Otherwise, she would have never been in this room. Now the murderer, whoever they were, came in. Mrs. Borden was facing her attacker. The first blow is to the left side of her face. Consider the glancing blade. The skin flap was by her ear. Hold it back this way. She went forward. The murderer. They delivered 18 more blows. One quarter between the neck and the shoulder blades. Now, a couple of years ago, about five years ago now, I was in this room, and it was, a, I figured it was going to be a slow day, and I was the only one in the house. I guess I left a little late, so I came up to finish tidying up the room, just before tours were getting ready, and I was doing the tours that day, too. Around trying to get everything done. So I came up here, had a couple of people waiting on the front step for me to let them in. One more bed to make. To make this bed, you have to pick up the mattress out of the frame and put it on the end here so you can change the sheets. I had just dropped the mattress back into the frame and I was leaning over it God, this way, tucking things in. And as I'm pushing the sheet in, all of a sudden it got very hard for me to breathe. So I pushed myself up like this to catch my breath, and as soon as I did, it felt like somebody punched me in the chest. It was just like a, like that. Before I hit the floor, I was sobbing. Because my first thought was just overwhelming sadness. Whatever went through me just left me with that impression. Overwhelming grief. I don't know how long I was curled up on the floor for, but I'm glad I brought the phone up here with me. I had it in the laundry basket. I crawled out of the room and called one of my employees to come over. And I told her what happened. She said, I'll take care of it. I'll be right there. She, of course, was too scared to come over, so she called another employee. <laughs> By the time I get down the stairs, I open the front door and go, Hi, I'm going to the house. Go to the house. They're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, it's fine. I think it's fine. So that's the experience I had in this room. 